Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to take a look at the tabs module. Tabs are fantastic for fitting a lot of info into a small space. And I just used these recently on a state fair site for doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the schedule on there, really handy. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's just get rid of this. OK, well, I've got a section, the blue tab, with a row, with a single column, the green tab. Divi comes as standard with all these light grey modules here, plenty enough to build just about any sort of site. You also get an extra dozen modules if you've got WooCommerce installed. That will showcase your products nicely. So let's get our tabs module. So here's our tabs module. Simply going to insert it. And there it is. By default, it gives you a couple of tabs in there. Let's go into this first one. And it's just like any other WordPress content, text content editor. Let's go to Lorem Ipsum and get us a bit of content here. I've got some lists here so I'm going to copy that and I'll just paste it in here and as you can see it's put that nice little list in there for us now you can add all kind of other things you can add images etc let's go down and put an image in the middle somewhere here align it to left right center just like you would with any other one by simply selecting it you can align it using the align tabs usual sort of options now you can keep it nice and clean like that or you can pretty much decorate it how you will and so we can give it a dark background or any sort of background you want here just give it a black background there. Go into the design. There's the body text. Let's make that light in color. And of course you can take the text size up or down just how it is, however you want to do it. Same as any other module. When you're happy, simply save your changes. And then you can move on to the next one. And do a similar thing. I'll grab a bit more lorem ipsum here. And let's go into that second tab. Of course you've got your tab title up here. Just put in there whatever you want. Now if you want a title Let's use this. Like any other WordPress editor, put the text where you want it and simply select. Go up to where it says paragraph, a little drop down arrow there. You can make it heading one, two, three, four, five, six. Make that a heading two, which is fine. If you want to give it a bit more space, just give it another a line there. Now, of course, you can decorate this again exactly the same way. You, you can have um, image backgrounds if you prefer to have an image background. You can have a color. We put in the first one. You can put a gradient in, put an image in. If you want to try and put some kind of image that you're going to be able to read your text over, obviously. Use that. And of course, you might want to change your text color so that you can read it a bit better there. There we go. And if you wanted to, you can add an image and a color. If that's still not doing it for you, just simply go into the background. I'll add a color. I'll use black. Then if we go back over to our image tab, you can't see that color at the moment. But if you scroll down a little bit, you've got background image blend. You can blend the color with it, multiply it. 
that's too dark for you. You can go back into the color and bring the opacity down. Can't really see much difference there. But they've got all kind of filters here that if you use them, you can get some fantastic effects going. There's a nice sort of black and white effects going there. But also if you just want to darken it down so you can read the, the writing a bit better, go back to normal. Put it wherever you want, say multiply. Looks like it's totally black there. We can simply go back to our color, click on the color, bring the opacity down until you can see enough of the image behind, but still read the writing. Now you may notice we put a title in up here that we can't see at all. And if we go to the design, you're not going to find any title editing colors up here like you do in most most tabs you can change the color of the text but not the actual title text but common to most WordPress text editors what you can do is go back into the content where you put it in there just select it and then you've got a little a right there which is text color you can change your text color by simply selecting it there simple as that make it bold do whatever you want to do with it And we'll just add a bit more spacing. Like I say, you can fit a lot of content into a very small area using tabs. And let's give it 50 left and right. Just put in the number, it'll put in the pics for you. If you hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. When you're happy, just move on. I won't do any more of these. I'll just duplicate these so you've got some up the top there. And then in the main element, you can decide what color you want your tabs to be. You've got active tab background color. Well, let's make that blue. Inactive tab background color. Let's make that purple. Text color. I'll make both of those white. It's going to stand out quite nicely up there. Obviously, you can change the font and Divi has an absolutely crazy amount of fonts. It really does. So you're never going to be short of a font. Capitalize it. Do the, all the usual things. You capitalize it, upper and lower capitals. Italicize it, underline it, line, line through. Obviously bring it, up, bring it up in size. Put a bit of box shadow under our tab there underneath that will just lift it off the page a little bit just continue along you can have more different colors if you want to when you're happy save your changes save the page changes save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the visual builder And there we have it. That's a very quick and simple overview of the little tabs module. Like I say, it's a great thing to have on your site if you want to put a lot of info in a short area. That's the way to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.